Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today, guys, is show you how to create this abstract line effects within Adobe Illustrator. A fantastic effect that you can use for patterns, backgrounds, album covers. And what I'd like you to do is to take what I uh, show you today and go and create some amazing stuff. A really, really cool effect, but trust me, a very simple process for you to follow to create it. The question should be is how do we do it? And obviously Jack here is here to the rescue to show you. Okay, so what I'm now gonna do with my selection tool is I'm just gonna set the original and press backspace to remove it. Okay, so using my line segment tool here, what I'm gonna do is create a nice straight line by pressing shift like so. Just gonna increase the points probably to around four points will do. Um, and I'm going to keep the color of it as white, but obviously you are in control of what color you would like to use. Now, using my selection tool, I would like to duplicate this line. And the shortcut to do that is Option on a Mac and Alt on Windows. And also at the same time, I'm going to press Shift to keep it nice and straight in line, probably around sort of that distance there. Okay, so what I've done there is I've told the system that I would like to duplicate that line, that amount uh, by pressing Shift also as well at the same time to keep it nice and straight in line. What we can do using a shortcut of Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows is we can repeat that commandment. So I'm going to come through and press that shortcut to continue repeating those lines. Wonderful. Okay, so let's select everything like so. And what I'm going to do now is come to Object, and we have the option of Envelope and Distort. The option I would like to use is make with mesh. What I would like to do is create a mesh of anchor points around the uh, lines that I've created for me be, to be able to manipulate them. You are in charge of how many rows or how many columns you would like. I would currently at the moment for this particular effect would like to keep it to six rows and to six columns. Okay. And as you can see now, we have a mesh of anchor points around these lines. And we use the direct selection tool to manipulate anchor points. So let me go to my direct selection tool and I'm just going to click, double click the center point there and start to move like so. Come through, be random with the positioning just to get that abstract feel. Very simple. Set it around there. Set it around there. Let's say nice. Wonderful. Two more to go, guys. And there we go. Okay. Using my selection tool, I'm just going to come through and give it a little manual rotation. Probably around sort of that angle there. And using the shortcut option of Mac or Auto Windows, I want to resize it from the center point whilst pressing shift at the same time also as well. And there you have it, guys. That's how to create the abstract line effect within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding more about the school, the courses that we offer, us as tutors, please take a look at our website at bluesguidegraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.